great of community members we are to model for them how we start our performance. So good afternoon. I am so happy to welcome you to today's winter event. It's the culmination of much hard work, inspiring conversations, and joyful moments of collaborative learning among our teachers and our students. I want to begin by saying a few acknowledgements. First, Kelly. Kelly, if you can stand and wave. Our music teacher, who wrote an original song for this event, and tirelessly helped all of our ch children learn the song, and the gestures that accompany it, accompany, with, accompany it, excuse me, with grace and care. And to Matt, if you can stand and wave, the song, along with some of the more nuanced elements of performance and directed our overall program today. We wouldn't be here without them. Please give them a huge round of applause. And then I want to say an incredible thank you to our faculty and staff who took a leap of faith. created this reimagined version of our annual winter study. Thank you, Prospect Sierra faculty and staff. Now, before we get started with the performance, I want to tell you about the process, how we came to this moment in time. It's an event with learning and hard work and a process that was full of joy, growth, and partnership. It was a partnership not just among teachers and faculty, but students as well. Conversations about this year's winter study began before the school year even started. A lot of time and thought went into creating this year's study so it could reflect who we are as a school at this point in time. With very real conversations about what change making is, how we cultivate it in our children, and who inspires us in our very own Bay Area. The faculty, green, and diversity committees were key to these conversations, along with all of our teachers and our students your children had a voice and an input in this process. The last several weeks have been full of deep learning and focus. I wanna share just a couple of moments to let you in behind the scenes. Imagine a fourth grader working with Tori and Kelly and learning to embroider for the first time, losing themselves in this process and then asking to keep working on it at recess. It created the beautiful backdrop that you see. learning peaceful body movements and sounds in PE with Summer and Max to practice, to practice mindful movement that you will see later in our program. Seeing first graders create beautiful self-portrait puppets with Remy and Julia, which will accompany the reading of an Amanda Gorman pro poem. Second graders who worked with Thomas, Gil, and Beth learned how to take care of the ocean by eliminating single-use plastics and a QR code to their documentary is available for all of you to view in the program. TK students carefully planting and watering their native plants and creating a beautiful pathway to share their garden with the help of Claire and Matt. At the end of this program, we will invite you over to the garden across the street. And third graders chopping veggies and learning about how native vegetables have supported communities for generations. And the story of the three sisters, how soup came to be, with Maria, Roy, and Melody. And not to mention, they were your welcoming event, they were their welcoming party to the event today. And they welcomed you with so much love and care. All right, I know you're excited, and my very patient students behind me are ready to share their learning with you. So thank you again for joining us today, and let's celebrate all of their work and the change makers among us. Friends, let's pretend like they can't hear me right now. I want to say one thing to you before we sing this song. First of all, look at me, stand up. Know that you are not alone. When you're singing, your voice matters. Enjoy, this was a big song. Dancers, you know when to come out. We appreciate all of you so much. Make sure you're...
Can we give them a hand in advance, please? speakers, please.
Hello, I'm Nayang from 4KZ. And I'm Simi from 4J2. Today we have presented to you a story quilt that is inspired by the artist Faith Ringgold. Faith Ringgold is a painter, writer, mixed media artist, and performance artist. She is also the author of the beloved children's book, Tar Beach. Faith Ringgold is well known for her feminist and anti-racist activism. She is an inspiring person who always saw the value in her own story and always knew the importance of sharing that story with the world. Our story quilt is inspired by Faith's piece, the Sunflower Quilting Bay at Arles. Some local change makers include our, included in our quilt are the Ohlone sisters, Karina Gould, Judy Human, Bryant Terry, and Edith Boone. In addition, we have a cityscape in the background inspired by the Bay Area and California poppies. With the help of Tori, both Ford grade classes painted the images on fabric and stitched them together. You will also find the stories of these change makers written onto the fabric along the border of our quilt. When you all get the chance, please take the time to not only admire our art, but to also read the stories about these impactful local change makers. Thank you. This quilt will be hanging for the day, so please take your time to come look at it. It is not only impressive, but beautiful. And now I would like to invite my first grade friends to come down to the stage. And they will be reading a poem, Change Sings, by Amanda Gorman. And we know 
and we know it won't be long. We all hear change coming. Won't you sing along? We, we all hear change, change coming. Won't, won't you sing along? Thank you, thank you first grade. Let's give them one more round of applause. Quick intermission. I'm so sorry to have to do this, but if you have a white Honda license plate 8VXZ9L4I, excuse me, 8VXZ9L4I, it is parked in a neighbor's driveway and they are um, not quite happy. So if you could go move your car, I would really appreciate it. And I know you would like your car there when you're back. So if it is anyone's car here, again, a white Honda, um, sorry for the intermission, my friends. We all want our cars. Um, and we'll play a little music before I invite TK up. Delighted to introduce TK, who is going to share a chant that they created to reflect the work of the native garden that they planted and designed at the TK yard that you will be invited to see later. Give them a round of applause. Kindergarten, who will come in four waves and will do some peaceful moments with us. So, KBE Pandas. And I'm and 
And I want to just say that we have been studying about peace. like to invite up, remember we're gonna hold our applause till all kinders have gone, uh, KBE Koalas. and KRW Snakes. Can we please give a round of applause to all of our people? So as you can see from this program, our grade levels learned about making change in many different ways, from peace to activists to saying their own change sings poem, or not written by them, but done in their own voices with their own self-portraits. Before we dismiss this portion of the program, I want to share a little bit about the documentary. Our second graders have been studying the environmental impacts of plastic pollution. They spent time investiga investigating their own use of plastics in daily life, learned about change makers who are fighting against the use of single-use plastic, and made a grade level commitment to be a part of this change by reducing their own plastic consumption. The second grade team has created a documentary to share their learning, which is now available in just a moment. We're going to invite you second grade parents into the music room to view the documentary. It is also linked on the winter study program in the form of a QR code for all families to view at home. We will also be watching it tomorrow and Friday here on campus. So if we can give second grade a huge round of applause for this incredible work. Before I 
dismiss us and give us just a couple more details of where we're going to invite you to go next, I have a couple logistical pieces to include. First, I want to give a huge thank you to our tech team. Without Mel, our tech wizard, and Tom, who's not here today, and Brian, none of this would have been possible. Thank you. And the facilities team. Uh, Maro, Steve, Arturo, Renee, and Lauda, who take care of our campus every day and set up all of these chairs so you could sit. So thank you to the facilities team. And a final thank you to Emily, who is documenting all of this to be able to share with all of the community members who are not able to be here this afternoon. Thank you, Emily. Yeah.